what's up Scorpio this is going to be a love forecast for the first two weeks of June this is for my Scorpio Sun Moon rising and Venus and for the cross watchers if you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment and share it really helps out my channel and if you are new here I do put these out every two weeks so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video and I am on TikTok and Instagram if you want to follow me over there I put the links to those in the description box as well so let's get stuck into it spirit was coming in please for my Scorpio Scorpio Sun Moon rising and Venus in the area of love first two weeks of June any love messages for my Scorpio Scorpio Sun Moon rising and Venus first two weeks of June Queen of Wands two of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in the reverse the Fool and the Six of Wands in the reverse okay Scorpio so um, weighing your options with the two of pentacles juggling more than one option in love perhaps queen of wands is you sort of maybe in a bit of an independent energy it's an entrepreneurial energy so you could be focused on your work and your career um, or you're sort of in this very I don't know you're kind of good you're good with yourself queen of wands can be attracting a lot of attention so this could be like I said maybe there's more than one choice here in love um, there is a ten of cups in the reverse which tells me that something may have not come to fruition the way that you had liked ten of cups could be a disappointment maybe you had thought that there was someone that you were building a ten of cups with and it's not looking like that's going ahead but now you're in this very strong energy I mean queen of wands is like pretty confident two of pentacles maybe you are juggling some financial responsibility because ten of cups you may have family you may have um, a connection that you're still involved in financially as well right um, yeah there's something here like there's a situation Scorpio that has led to a lack of success but on the other hand I really like this energy it's it's sort of like you're not really crying over spilt milk you're taking you know ready to take that leap um, on a new adventure some of you are doing some travel um, yeah so let me have a look at this two of pentacles yeah the eight of swords okay some of you are just very bound to a situation that didn't work out but like I said there's financial considerations at play Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune the reverse exactly it's like something is sort of unfinished Wheel of Fortune in the reverse it could be like it keeps going around and around or there's this sense of maybe for some time you know Eight of Swords it's been stressing you out mentally um, or you have sort of felt like unready to kind of like I said take that leap because there's been maybe some fears about moving forward and moving on um, the Knight of Wands I mean this is this is fun this is passion I feel like with the two of Pentacles like you could be having a lot of passion maybe with more than one option um, maybe for some of you you've kind of felt unready to jump into anything very serious the full card can be about you know risk maybe we feel like it's a risk to go that next level um, given maybe there's been something that didn't work out for you okay let's look at this Queen of Wands let's see yeah the two of wands exactly you're still at a crossroads Scorpio so maybe you're also indecisive about what you want or what you're looking for or you still have one foot um, in a situation as I said some of you you've got some fears coming up around um, love because you were dealing with someone that was very inconsistent with you or in, a, in and out or impulsive that left you a bit scarred but overall as I said I think you're really getting your confidence back here so you know for some of you you've actually like I said you've got more than one option now in um, June and you will be weighing those options up about you know which one or if you do want to continue um, to go that next level or if you just want to kind of remain single or independent let's have a look at that two of wands yeah ace of cups <laughs> so Scorpio this is new love beginnings I mean maybe for some of you you're a bit sort of back and forth there is someone in particular here but you're back and forth about whether you really want to go for it because like I said the full card can feel like should I take this leap should I should I do this or do I feel like it's a risk because I have some fears coming up you know maybe you're like oh I just want to keep this light Knight of Wands I just want to have fun 
because maybe it's like, you know, keeping someone at a distance. Maybe you feel like that's the safe option. Okay, but there's definitely a new love beginning here, Scorpio. So um, it's up to you what you want to do with that. But that looks really nice. The Ace of Cups is like your cup is full. You know, the Three of Wands here is about the future as well and expansion. Again, a card about travel and distance. So maybe you're, you're talking to someone at a distance now um, and maybe you're discussing taking a trip or maybe some of you are doing a trip and this is where, you know, a new love beginning is taking place, right? or a number of choices. Um, but Scorpio, I think there's one particular person that it could lead to something that is a little bit deeper, not just the Knight of Wands, but you know, something that could be a bit more about love. Let's see, with that Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Lovers card, as I just said that, okay? The Lovers card. So you have a soul connection, Scorpio, that's around you, or it's like coming in imminently. And I think this is also about choices. So lover's card is, it's that duality, it's that indecision, it's Gemini energy. So it's like, yes, no, or maybe there's more than one choice for you. You know what I'm saying? So good problem to have for you, Scorpio. Um, but you're really in your confidence. So Queen of Wands, she's very magnetic, you know? She's very, um, you know, she gets a lot of attention. So I really think that that's what's happening for you now. I mean, you're coming across as very sexy, basically. Tell me about that lover's card and the star card. So a lot of recognition. Um, and this is also, you know, three of swords in the reverse, getting past any pain, letting go of any heartache that you have and um, moving forward. You're doing a lot of healing work on yourself and um, focusing now on the future and really what's going to fulfill your wishes. So really aligning with that. I mean, I feel like this lover's card, ace of cups and star card is really beautiful energy, Scorpio. So this tells me that there's a soulmate connection that's very much connected to your wishes or very much like if you really tap into your desires, I feel like this person's aligning with, with that, but it's gonna be up to you because the eight of swords can be some fear or that can be some limiting beliefs. Um, so don't project the past into the present and the future, Scorpio. Um, you have no evidence yet of what something is going to turn out like. So you need to be open. Um, let's see. I mean, the full, it's like new adventures. You're in, in an adventurous kind of an energy Scorpio in June. Let's see what else. Yep, two of cups, Scorpio, unbelievable. So soulmate connection, two of cups. So this is someone that is wanting to really have a very mutually receptive, soul deep kind of a connection with you. Okay, um, that's beautiful. It's you that's gonna have to decide, Scorpio, Ace of Swords. It's you that's gonna have to decide. So this is about, you know, truth. And I mentioned before, like tapping into the truth of your desires. Um, so there could be you needing to get very clear on that. There could be someone coming forward, having a conversation with you. Um, I'm getting this is a person that's straight up, straight up about what they want, honesty, clarity. Maybe you've not had that. Look, the Eight of Swords is when the blindfold's been on. Maybe you were dealing with a situation that you felt you got blindsided with, right? You felt like it wasn't what it seemed. Um, maybe it took you a long time to get past that or get over it. You're still kind of getting over it or at least the fallout from that because Ten of Cups in the reverse. This is like what you had hoped to create didn't eventuate um, for like that happily ever after. And so maybe you are projecting a fear that that's not possible. Um, but two aces, so this is new beginning in truth and in love on offer for you. And I've got a king of wands. So this is someone taking passionate action towards you and they are your match, Scorpio, king and queen of wands. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. Um, could also be like an entrepreneur, could be someone that actually wants to work with you on, on a project, collaborate with you. Um, fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but yeah, definitely someone that is looking like a lot of attraction and chemistry. So it'll be your choice if you want to go the next level, but I think that they are really wanting that, that depth from you. Okay, maybe we can get some of these um, Amira's oracles. Okay, dating queen, opportunities, dates, abundance. You see Scorpio, and then I just saw open relationship, non-committal. I think it's you that's not necessarily looking for the commitment. Hmm? So you're going to have to get very truthful and honest with yourself and then with whatever is coming through, whoever is coming through and make a decision for you. Mature man, older man, mature in age. 
So that could be you or the person that's coming through. Control, releasing, taking back power. Some of you are, you know, the Queen of Wands is very much in her power. King and Queen of Wands are very in their power. Um, but sometimes, like I said, if you're coming from the wounded place, um, Scorpio, you might want to be too much in control. So that's why I'm saying you might be trying to keep opportunity at a distance. All right, we've got young female, youthful music, fashion. So what I'm getting is, well, someone here is, is more mature than the other. So there could be like, you know, an age difference. But I'm also more so getting like with that, car let's not make it gender specific this could be someone that you can actually have a lot of fun with music youthful fashion i don't know this is someone that's sort of tapping more into your creative youthful side your um fun in a child or creativity like king of wands queen of wands entrepreneurial creative energy maybe this is what you want to do with work or you do with work so it could be like a collaboration what else oh gifts openings surprises so something's taking you by surprise maybe you didn't see this coming or you didn't feel like you know maybe you, like I said you're just looking for fun and you're dating around and this is going to take you by surprise again the dating queen <laughs> opportunities dates and abundance and what else past love okay so there's something from the past that's still lingering which has you in this kind of control energy I just saw new love, but it hasn't come out yet. True love, passion. And then there's the karma, toxic story. But then I have new opportunities. So, yep, and travel. Oh my God, Scorpio. Travel, vacation, enjoyment. Something about travel. So either you're traveling to someone or you're meeting someone while you travel. There's a lot of passion and there is, there is true love. But the past love has left a bit of this, the, the toxic story. So there's new opportunities now, but you're gonna have to let go of that old story. That's the eight of swords, it's the old story. It's the limiting belief that keeps you trapped and the fear that keeps you trapped and stuck and prevents you from really you know, taking advantage of what's opening up. Okay, Scorpio, um, let me just get your romance angel. Okay, st stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So Scorpio, that's an eight of swords, can be a bit of that negative mindset. Let go of control issues. A lot about letting go of control, allowing things to unfold naturally. So not being too rigid, not being, you know, um, holding back or trying to control situations or, you know, sometimes we don't want to be vulnerable. It's our way of maintaining control. I think that that's what's going on. Um, deception someone is wearing a false self mask with release your ex the time has come to clear your energy what did I say so there's the ex is lingering or the deception from that situation is lingering it's not the current situation okay Scorpio what else soulmate yes this is your soulmate past life relationship you've known each other before separation forgiving and learning so there's someone that you separated from with that three of swords and you're getting over that separation and the hurt feelings forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments i think you had a karmic situation scorpio that past life relationship is the past lover with the karma the toxic story so there were some lessons that you had to learn and heal from okay um, and then I've got chemistry with worth waiting for. Divine timing, is it working your love life? So this is divine timing, bringing in the right one at the right time. You see Scorpio, so you had to kind of go through this to learn something about yourself. Um, and there's a lot of chemistry, King and Queen of Wands, a lot. Like that's fire. Okay, so don't close yourself off, Scorpio. I think that's really beautiful. Um, I'll just get your Mystic Black Rose. Sneaky. Mm. Someone was really kind of reckless with you, Scorpio. I just saw sneaky. So someone was very sneaky, deceptive, shattered, left you crushed, broken hearted, with a lot of sadness, butterflies, final. Yeah, it's like this person, Scorpio, that you dealt with in the past, past. It happened, left behind, looking back, um, divorce, breakup, 
differences. This person, it was like very up and down, you know, you had the butterflies and then the shattered. Okay, that's that sort of the inconsistency or a recklessness or a deception. And so I think that you really felt like that's that 10 of cups in the reverse Scorpio. It's like one minute you felt like this is the one and then the next minute there was this sort of, oh my gosh, like panic attack, broken heart, sadness, crush. So I think they really let you down. Um, yeah, reflection, dark night of the soul, dark shadow, seeing true colors. So this person, they weren't what they seemed. You know what I mean? They were wearing a mask. Yeah, frozen, not speaking, not taking action. So I think that you and this person, you're not in contact. You're not speaking. As I said, I think you're in this energy where you're actually taking back your power and your confidence, and that's great. So it's only just now about not, not taking the emotional, not taking the past and projecting it into the present, right? Or, or um, potential situations yeah pursuit ghost <laughs> leaving behind disappearing cold no contact conflict party having fun okay so i think that you're, you've left that behind that past situation um it's taken a lot of resilience for you persistent resilience okay um to get over that i'm seeing that there was a lot of conflict clashing irreconcilable differences and now there's no contact okay so what spirit's saying to you is now i know you're in this having fun fun with friends kind of energy but then there's also the risky card and i did say that there's something with you about like feeling that maybe love is a risk but spirit is saying to you don't lead with that <laughs> because there's something really nice here true love travel passion so i see you having a good time either way maybe you're traveling with front friends and you're going to be having a good time going out enjoying yourself um, but there is something really nice presenting to you Scorpio so I absolutely love that okay I hope that that resonated for you Scorpio and if so you can give me a like and a comment please and I will check in with you guys in two weeks time lots of love